that I have insomnia. You're sick people, do you know that? What you're starting here is what you should be afraid of. You're letting something begin that's a nightmare. It doesn't seem right. I've known Allie since preschool. We've been really good friends. That don't prove a thing. Any girl who'd spend her time looking up at the sky in the morning? Well, there's something wrong with that kind of person. Maybe under normal circumstances, we could let this go by, but these ain't normal circumstances. It's, well, it's like going back into the dark ages. Just say we are, Jennifer. I don't want any trouble. And this time, if anybody comes near me, that's what they're going to get. They're going to get my praying mantis. Ow. Look, Allie. Look, I've already explained to you people. I don't sleep very well at night, so I wake up early and go to school, and then I look at the sky. That's exactly what she does. It's some kind of madness. That's exactly what it is, some kind of madness. You best watch who you're seen with, Jennifer, because until we get this straightened out, you're not above suspicion yourself. Or you, Charlie, or any of us in this classroom. What I'd like to know is, what are we going to do, just stand around here all day? There's nothing else we can do. One of them will tip their hands. They got to. There's something you can do, Charlie. You can go sit down and shut your mouth and stop acting like a self-appointed judge. You sound real anxious to have that happen, Jennifer. Maybe we should keep our eye out on you, too. I think it should come out in the open now. Your friends have been talking about how weird you are. Go ahead, tell us what they said. Go ahead, what's my friend said? Let's get it all out. Let's get every weird thing of every student in this classroom out. Maybe set up a kangaroo court after school. What about a firing squad? Narrow down the suspects for you? There's no need to be getting all upset, Jennifer. It's just, Susie's been talking a lot about how you've been spending a lot of nights down in your basement working on some kind of radio set or something. And none of us have ever seen that radio set. Go ahead, Jennifer. What kind of radio set you've been working on? I haven't seen it. Neither has anyone else. Who do you talk to on that radio set? And who talks to you? I'm surprised at you, Charlie. Why are you all dense all this time? Who do I talk to? I talk to monsters from outer space, three-headed green men who fly overhead in what look like meteors. Jen Jennifer, please. It's just a radio set. I bought her a book on it myself. A lot of people have them. I can show you. I have it in my backpack. Show them nothing. If they want to search through your backpack, let them get a search warrant. Listen here, Missy. You can't afford to. Charlie, quit telling me what I can't and can't afford, and stop telling me who's dangerous and who isn't. This is a nightmare! The only thing that's gonna happen is we're gonna eat each other up! That's not the only thing that can happen to us! It's the monster! It's the monster! <laughs> to see if the power was on. You killed him, Charlie. You pumped him full of steel. But, but I didn't know who he was. I certainly didn't know who he was. He comes walking out of the darkness. How was I supposed to know who he was? Oh my god, Charlie, your computer just came on. Why'd your computer just come on? Yeah, Charlie, why'd your computer come on? Yeah. 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 Well, maybe you had to kill. Maybe Peter there was just trying to tell us something. Maybe he was telling us who amongst us we have to watch out for. No! No, please!
procedure now. Just stop a few of their machines and radios and telephones and computers, throw them into darkness for a few hours, and you just sit back and watch the pattern. Are the patterns always the same? With few variations, they pick the most dangerous enemy they can find, and it's themselves. And all we need to do is sit back and watch. Then I take it, this room 12 is not unique? Their world is full of room 12s, and we'll go from one to the other and let them destroy themselves. One to the other, one to the other, one to the other. <laughs> <laughs> the tools of conquest do not necessarily come with bombs and explosions and fallout. There are weapons that are simply thoughts, attitudes, prejudices, to be found only in the minds of men. For the record, prejudices can kill and suspicion can destroy. A thoughtless, frightened search for a scapegoat has a fallout all of its own for the children, the children yet unborn. And the pity of it is that these scenes cannot be confined to the Twilight Zone. You have to wait till I say three, then start, okay, Robert? <laughs> Why did you make me laugh? Okay. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Jesse, are you stupid? <laughs> it's not that funny. We're just okay, making one, it. Okay, one, two, three. <gasps> this doesn't make sense. Why should the power go off all of a sudden? And the phone line? Maybe it was. <laughs> I can't even. Get... <laughs> <laughs> Two. Wait. Except the people they sent down ahead of them. They look just like humans. Until and it wasn't until <laughs> power. Oh, we get all flustered and everything. Oh. Uh. <laughs> she go down to the. <laughs> no, isn't that the craziest thing? Uh. <laughs> They weren't talking. Understand the person. <laughs> By no means. This world, they're... <laughs> okay. You can make the door open by itself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the door... The, 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 you sick people. The, understand the procedure now? <laughs> Go. Qu laugh, laugh, laugh. Make no make movements when you laugh. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Three. Oh god, it's got it. Two, three. This the, the, <laughs> Okay, one, two, three. I think everything might as well come out now. Your girl set up some kind of a kangaroo court. Or how about a, how about let's set up a kink some kind of <laughs> that you we're gonna all eat get. That's not the only thing that can happen to us. Uh, we might need this. Will anybody think of thought around here? What's the, what good is a broom going to do against the body? <laughs> go. Here we go. <laughs> Just say we are, Steve. And if anybody comes near me, they're going to get trouble. They're going to get the praying mantis. Oh! <laughs> she knew. She was the only one who knew. Who? Go. Go. Oh! <laughs> Go. Go. He's supposed to be shooting. <laughs> <laughs> I know who it is that doesn't belong. I know who the monster is. I swear to you, I know who it is. <laughs> 